Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today I want to talk to you about a little known Talia trick that I've actually talked about in my guide. Now, while this trick might not be the best or the easiest to pull off, it's definitely the one that will make you shine amongst your Talia peers. Now, what is this trick about? Uh, I will show you right in the next moment. Basically, if we switch here, I really hope this transition worked. Uh, on Reddit about a month ago by user AfroTime, there was this little post that actually caught my eyes and you're going to see what I mean right here. Basically the trick that I'm about to present on how to do it, it's pretty simple. You just press Q and bam, then you cast your ultimate. Now, again, this trick is uh, not really easy to do and I say again because I want to show you again the, what he did. Basically cast Q then cast your ultimate. We're going over this trick on um, the practice tool real quick and then we're going to move towards some real examples where I actually tried. Now this is a bit difficult to pull off. I did only in three games I actively tried it. Now I did it in flex so that I don't really troll my teams in solo queue but I've won the games nonetheless. Uh, it's a good thing to actually practice this first in the practice tool. So we're moving now to the practice tool. I want you to do it like at least five minutes every day on practice tool because it's a skill that it's immensely hard to pull off. It's a trick that has very few use cases, but when it does work, it does wonders. And I, while I don't recommend it to use it every single time, I actually feel that there are use cases for it. So practice tool, let's go. Now, again, the disclaimer you want here, Please, 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 a hundred times, please do not practice this in ranked games. Go in normal games, do it there if you want. Do not troll your teammates, because if even if I would be in your game, I would report you probably. So, uh, please uh, don't do that. Now, what you want to do in order to practice it, you want to get to level 6. You want to go towards the mid lane and you want to fast forward a bit until the minions actually reach mid lane. And also you want to put some dummies. Now, uh, basically the trick is simple. Uh, let's say you're in a team fight and you're about here and they are fighting here. Let's create, what is this shift and okay. Let's create some sort of a team fight here. Now, whoops. Now what you want here is to actually cast your Q, okay? And then cast your ult like that. And you're going to hit, but this is a bad cast. Now I do not, I did not practice it at that much. So basically, in order to hit everyone, uh, in most teamfights they're going to be this far. So chances are you're going to hit multiple targets anyway. So ignore the minions here. Can I clear the minions? I cannot clear the minions. Okay, we don't have the technology. Basically, what you want? Why, why don't we go somewhere else though? Okay. Basically what you want is to cast your Q on a target and then quickly move around so that you can do that uh, multiple targeting. Now, simple. Cast Q, cast Alt. And you're going to hit two targets, three targets, depending on how you cast it. Now, it's, it might not be the most efficient of tricks, but I'll guarantee you this is the coolest trick that you can pull off as a Talia. Getting a kill secure, even a kill steal, come on, that's badass. Let's say you won the game already, but there's the last teamfight that you just won and there is the last target. You can badassly kill him with the chasing ult, like that, and so. Uh, now, uh, if you are far away from the teamfight, do not cast your Q. This is the most important thing, because when you reach the teamfight, you will not do anything with it. Basically, you have, let's count, let's count the full Q. One, two, three, three seconds. Basically, if you don't reach the target in three seconds, that Q is useless. So one, two, three. Well, I hit that one, but you get the point. Now, this is one of the most important, no, not necessarily the most important. This is one of the coolest tricks that you can pull off as a Talia main. And I really want you to practice it because I want to see badass videos of it. I've seen only one video in my life and it's the one on Reddit. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit hard to pull off. Probably just one guy figured it out yet. <laughs> so I, yeah, I stole the idea. Thank you from, uh, thank you Reddit user. Uh, Reddit user Afro time. Okay, yeah, thank you. And I want to also showcase you uh, some examples from Flex games where I actually tried it. Don't worry, I did not troll the games because I actually won them, practically carried them, so it's okay. Now, another trick 
related to it somehow if, if you want it we can talk about an idea that I've had let's just say that your teammates are fighting around here and Let's just say that their ADC stands around here and you don't have flash and their tanks are about here. Now, let's just position them like such. Okay, this is their support, top lane and jungler, that's their ADC, you cannot reach it. And your teammates are fighting around here in the fiesta. Now, another trick that we want to do is that we can back off a little from the tanks and bruisers, besides peeling them off. And, well, the first thing you can do is to peel them of your ADC well your teammates won't stay like that but another thing is that you can just do this and while you separate the team fight you can actually reach to this dummy and get the kill with a full combo if he doesn't have flash now, this is a very hard trick to pull off in the team fight and it's not necessarily an easy thing this guide maybe is possibly for the most advanced of players uh, but yeah I suppose you could try them you could think a bit of some interesting ways I did not cast Q there so cast Q easy okay so this is the video I don't want to make it very long uh, I detailed the grid uh, on the reddit guide as well but you get the point now let's jump to some examples that I tried let's see how I actually did there uh, before we go into the replay I will also make a full game this week for those that want uh, I know there are some people that do not like this kind of videos and they feel they are clickbaity or so uh, I actually don't really try to reach the 10 minute mark like some other youtubers I just make the video and talk as much as I need to talk so yeah now in this game I'm in flex I'm a bit fed you can see I've actually tried the two games in two games in different games to actually make this work now one of those games I actually maybe closely pulled off but this is not that really what we want now here we can see in practice I position myself to here I cast Q I miss two Q's and then I hit two other Q's and by the time I land I actually have another Q so basically this is a thing that makes you deal extra damage if you position your ultimate nearby in their proximity now here I died but it doesn't matter because we won the game right away and let's move to the example 2 where you're going to see a way in which I failed now don't count this that here it's not a fail I'm just stupid <laughs> okay so let's move there now here you'll see a negative example please don't laugh I actually won the game at the end I started to carry it you're going to see that I got a lot of kills around whatever uh, but I really wanted to try that in scenarios that it might work now here I'm 6-1 it's really not worth to try for a 2-4 to go for it and uh, it's a stupid idea in general to do it under tower but just for the sake of it I want to show you what I tried now I did it so poorly and so sad normally I should have done it like this and cast ult maybe like this actually and cast ult like this and Q sorry so cast Q in this direction and go in this direction with ult so basically that's what I tried but I cast it <laughs> please don't laugh <laughs> like this because I actually expected him to go around somewhere here and maybe reach it but then I did this and died so yeah uh, but again I actually did some pretty good things in the game like making them miss Baron and making them lose the game so all in all it went well eventually uh, if you want to see a team fight but I don't think you're interested in we're gonna speed it up yeah we killed Kha'Zix it's irrelevant cast it out yeah we won before they actually I actually came there fed player was here and nonetheless you don't care about it now tomorrow I'll probably also release a video or in two days from now on uh, a full game video with diamond uh, probably the ones that you like on the channel now if you want to try this again please please be extremely careful practice it a thousand times before going into ranked when you play with friends on a ramps or on normal games yeah it's fun you can do it it's no pressure nobody cares there so in higher reloads or in higher level gameplay please be careful so you got the point just queue then alt and that's the guide please try this trick and tell me how you succeeded with it I'm really I really want to see videos of it working if you have so yeah let's do it let's let's try to get um, an epic clip of someone doing that and 
Hey, this is a challenge actually, I want to see those videos. Uh, if you want you can share with us on Discord, you have a link in the description and also please check my guide if you haven't yet, I worked a ton of it, a ton on it and it would really make me happy if people read it and they keep reading it and so they learn more. Basically that's why I wrote it, so that people learn to live. Anyway, have a nice day and I really love you all guys, thank you very much, goodbye.